Hello, welcome to Half-Life Practice Problems. Today we're going to be learning about word problems that involve half-life. So we're looking at the equation Ft equals a one-half t divided by h as a power. So our a is going to be our initial amount. So this is how much the element or material, whatever it happens to be, what it starts at. Now, our b, because this is an exponential func decay function, is always one-half because it's a half-life. So that b will always be one-half. Now, the power, t divided by h, t is the time that has passed, and h is the half-life time. And then our f of t, the function itself, is what remains. So the amount that remains. So if we look at our example, we have the half-life of PO214 is 0 0.001 seconds. How much of a 10 gram sample is left after 0 0.003 seconds? So looking for our initial amount, we see that it's 10 grams. So we're going to put that as A. Our time that is going by is 0 0.003 seconds. And then we look for our half-life time, and the half-life is 0 0.001 seconds. Then we simply plug those into our formula, our equation. So f of t, in this case t is 0 0.003 is going to equal our a, which is 10, times 1 half raised to our t, 0 0.003, divided by our h, 0 0.001. Now if we put this into a calculator, we can see that the function when t is 0 0.003 is equal to 1.25. Now remember that this was an amount, right? It's the amount of material that's left. And we started in grams, so we're going to put grams for our unit. Let's look at another problem. So the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. If a sample contains 70 milligrams originally, how much is left after 17,190 years? So again, we need our values. So our A, our initial value is 70 mg. T time is 17,190 years. And the half-life is 5,730 years. All of this can be gotten from the information in our word problem. Now we're going to put it into the equation. So f of t, remember t is 17,190, is going to equal our a, which is 70, times 1 half. With half-life, it's always 1 half. Our t, 17,190, divided by our h, 5,730. Now again, if we put this into a calculator, we get that f of t, where t is 17,190, is going to equal 8.75. Now, we want to again make sure we have the correct units. So here, it's mg instead of grams, so milligrams. And we are done. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do your own problem. So I want you to try this on your own. The equation is above for you. How much of a 500 gram sample of potassium 42 is left after 62 hours? The half-life of K42 is 12.4 hours. So remember, you need to find that A, you need to find your T, you need to find your H, and then you just put it into the equation. Good luck.